श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री महासरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुचरणकमले भ्यो नम ओ परम धाम परब्रह्म परेशम परमाभुत विघ्न निघ्न कर शात पुष्ट कांतमनक सुरासुरेन्द्र सिद्धेन्द्र स्तुत सौमीपरात्म सुर पद्म दिनेश गणेशाय मंगल श्री गजानंद स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय दिस व्रत कथा दैट वी डू इज नोन एज एकादशी व्रत वेलकम टू सांख्य टेलीविजन एंड द प्रोग्राम व्रत त्योहार दिस इज द व्रत विच इज नोन एज एकादशी on this day which is supposed to be the 12th day of february this is the vrat of ekadashi day so what do we do how we keep up this vrat so jaya ekadashi it is called and we fast it it is said that we do the fasting from the early hours of the morning of ekadashi the if possible from the day before we prepare ourselves and we start the fast from the evening before and observe that fast and the end of the fast is at the time when it is sunrise on the day of dwadashi so it is actually like a complete 24 hours of fasting one can be able to do the fast from the very day which is the 10th day by consuming satvic food satvic food means meal that is very calm in quality is also very it, it is nourishing for the body but very calm in quality and on season preferably provision of fruits so on the day it is said it is prohibited actually to consume any form of grains whatsoever or pulses on the very day of ekadashi the devotee must wake up before the sunrise and take part and after taking bath organize for puja or prayer and go straight and offer prayer to lord vishnu in the time which is known as brahma muhurt approximately 48 minutes before the sunrise and later the devotee offers prayer to mat to mata ekadashi asking for the blessings that bhagwan i would like to do your vrat today give me the inner shakti man ki shakti do mujhe jise man ko jeet kar sake by which i could be able to win the power of my mind i could be able to have con- proper control of myself and in that way we do offerings to the form of bhagwan asking for the blessings to give us the inner shakti and the ability to do our prayer so as a devotee we prepare a special bhog to please the deity and once the bhog is offered it says you seek the blessings by reciting devotional songs chanting special mantras and doing jap of lord vishnu Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya or Om Sri Vishnu Ve Nama or Krishna bhajans like Jai Krishna Hare Shri Krishna Hare like that you chant you chant mantras and so on and 
you seek the blessings of Bhagwan. So, one most important thing to be done when we are doing this fasting is to help the needy and offer them what means can afford and the other essential commodities that are there in life, what we can be able to offer that is within our capacity, we make those kind of offerings for them. Then we must listen also to the Katha of Ekadasi. The Katha of Ekadasi is very, very important because the Katha help us to remember that if certain people could have made certain kind of sacrifices and achieved their goal, we too can be able to achieve many goals in the same way. So, Nandana was in the forest in the heavens and it was a very nice place and so it is said all the deutas were living in great amount of peace and bliss. So, amidst there was a very beautiful beauty of cloud, and in that you have the cuckoo land, and in that place it had a couple. They were engrossed in each other, they loved each other very much, that is, and they often forgot their duty and they indulged in mutual admiration for each other. So, the man was a very handsome looking person. His name was Malyavan. And the young lady, he was also a very beautiful person, push poverty. So one day Lord Indra or Indra Devta, he took a casual walk in the forest and to welcome him, the Devtas arranged for a dance in the concert. And this couple took part in it. But everyone looked on and when they were halfway in their performance, it says they started to actually indulge in showing appreciation for each other. And felt insulted and so he did not and so all the deuters also felt the same way, very much insulted. So he was very furious and he gave a strap or put a spell upon them. The spell or the strap was like this, that they would take birth on earth as a poor couple. And the couple was indeed born in the Himalayas. They were born very poor and had no food to feed themselves and no clothes to cover themselves and they lived there in a miserable way. So one day it so happened that they end up performing some form of penance and by doing this penance, they impressed Bhagwan Vishnu. So when they did the penance and Bhagwan Vishnu was pleased with them and revealed himself, so they begged for um, pardon for the errors. And when Bhagwan Vishnu forgives what became the situation, it says that he gave back to them the lost glory that they had and he blessed them with prosperity. So what is this 
Brat Katha telling to us the most significant part of it, observing the fast, whether a person is poor or rich, you can observe this fast and perform puja to Lord Vishnu. And by performing the puja to Lord Vishnu, what do we get? You get blessed. We are bestowed with abundance of wealth and happiness. An individual who observed this breath known as the Jaya Ekadasi breath is blessed and his desires become fulfilled. And it says he gained remedies for his problems. In the end, it is the giver of moksha. So Jaya Ekadasi breath is so effective that it can help the person who is fasting to get rid of not a little bit or not a part of their sins, but all their sins from the past and the present. Also, it helps to give us mental peace and remove any form of agony that are there as brahmatya and so on. So Ekadasi is actually dedicated to Lord Vishnu and Shivji, both Shivji and um, Lord Vishnu is being honored on Ekadasi day. This Vrat has great significance and for the devotees of Shivji and Vishnu Bhagavan, they all gain great amount of blessings. But think about the blessings that was given to the Devi by the name of Ekadasi. There was a demon by the name of Mood, and he had so much of powers. He was doing tapasya, and the devtas themselves besieged Brahmaji that he is becoming so powerful. If he starts to behave mischief, in a mischievous way, then the whole world will face with trouble. So Brahmaji, go quickly and give him the boon that he is asking for. So Brahmaji went and gave him the blessings and satisfied the wish of the devtas so that his um, mood, that is, his spiritual powers will not advance too far, that it would be out of control of Bhagavan. So when this was the situation, Moors now started to create great amount of havoc because now he could defeat the devtas. The devtas were defeated and they had to run hither thither from one place to another to seek for place to rest. Now that this was the situation, it is said that He waged war with the devtas. The devtas went to Lord Vishnu to ask for help. Vishnu Bhagavan said, do not worry, I will come myself and I will give help. So Vishnu Bhagavan came. And so he was able to join forces with the devtas. But in no time, Mood and his, his troops defeated the devtas. And Vishnu Bhagavan, now after a long fight, with the Rakshas mood, it is said, he went to take a little rest because the Rakshas ran away after a little while too. So Vishnu Bhagavan, while he was taking rest, mood followed him and came into a cave where Bhagavan Vishnu was. And when he saw him in the restful position, he tried to attack Bhagwan Vishnu. So from the body of Bhagwan Vishnu, a Devi came out. And she took up the weapon. And she had a good fight with Moor. And she defeated him. And she killed him. So all the devtas now became very happy and they started to 
sing praises to her. Bhagwan Vishnu at the same time he got up from his dhyan and he saw this beautiful young lady and said, "Well, who are you?" He said, "Well, Bhagwan, I I have come from you because I saw this rakshas was coming to attack you, and I came from your body and took the weapon." and defeated the rakshas forgive me for taking up your job but i have seen the situation where he was coming to advantage take advantage and i end up coming out from your body and so i attacked him and defeated bhagwan vishnu blessed and said for this that you have done ask for what you want it shall be yours i am very pleased with you so she said well first when she when vishnu bhagwan asked who are you he said mai ek das hu aapka dasi so this is there was ekadashi also so das and ek das became ekadashi and so the name ekadashi was given to her that her name will be ekadashi and what do you want to have well i do not want anything for me but on this day let it be so auspicious because it has brought so much of joy to all the devtas and anybody who would fast on this day and do your bhakti that person must be freed from sins and they must come to your abode in the end they must gain the blessings which are appropriate to be able to lift them to your abode so this is what lord vishnu blessed ekadashi devi with and so in blessing her with that kind of blessings that's why anybody who fast on ekadashi day who do the bhakti of ekadashi who on on ekadashi day who fast without grains who fast without even taking a sip of water it says that person gains great amount of blessings a person who offers the tulsi leaf to lord vishnu on the day of ekadashi gains the blessings of tens of 10000 birds of sins to be cut away a person who plants the tulsi plant and do the puja of ekadashi it says that person must be blessed that they will be able to see many generations in their life doing devotion to bhagwan vishnu and they must live in the abode in the abode of bhagwan vishnu forever and so it says that person who takes this sun the right hand sun and offer praises or offer arg to lord vishnu the benefits of visiting all the pilgrimage in the whole world the benefits of doing puja in all the pilgrimage and taking bath in all the pilgrimage in the whole world that is one portion of like a 16th of the blessing that you gain by offering the water or the arg to bhagwan vishnu with the sank the benefits that you attain when you do the puja and you do gaudan you gain the blessings of thousands of gaudan that is going to be multiplied hundred folds when you give the durba grass to lord vishnu when you offer rose flowers to lord vishnu you gain the blessings of mukti or liberation when you take the ashok flower and offer to lord vishnu or vishnu bhagwan you gain the blessings that gradually it will reach a point where your life will be without any form of worry when you take the oleander flower the kanner flower the white and the red and you offer to bhagwan vishnu ma lakshmi and bhagwan vishnu will always be with you 
So this is a day when we can gain maximum amount of benefits in the shortest amount of time. These breath and the are uh, of such. This is why Bratyauhar is a special program. It is designed to bring joys and happiness to us in our life when we would fast and do bhakti on these days mentioned. It gives unending rewards. It is able to bring us happiness and blessings to the sponsors of this program because they are helping us to be able to reach people all over the world with this special program of Vrattahar. So it is like the jewels that are there in the Hindu calendar. The fasts and festivals are like the jewels. When you go to the store, you want to look for clothes that are nice and jewels that are nice and everything to fix the body and make the body look nice. But what about our atma, our soul, our spirit that is within this body? Shouldn't we try to cherish the beautiful opportunities that we have and seek the blessings of Bhagwan for the upliftment of ourselves and to know that a true friend to yourself is only yourself. Nobody is better than yourself as a true friend to yourself. Sri Krishna says this to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita that you yourself are your own true friend. Bhaiya, be a friend to yourself. Understand the values of this breath and festival that are being mentioned about. Cherish them and let them be the jewels that you wear to go to Bhagavan. Bolo Sri Vishnu Bhagavan ki jai, Umapati Mahadeva ki jai. Yeah.